How bad do things have to be in your franchise for you to be turned down by Baker Mayfield? Ooh, that's got to be a tough feeling, right? Well, I know a lot of Ravens fans were probably thinking that initially when they heard that Baker Mayfield turned down the Baltimore Ravens, but it is not all bad. It's really not because we got to look at it for exactly what it is. Because surface value, you're like, oh, Baker Mayfield said no to the Ravens. What? Him? He said that? What? Uh, really? But it's not as bad as it seems. So, Team Keep It Clean. What's going on? It's Ian Gravy here with another video, and I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because every single day is something new with these Baltimore Ravens. They will not let you get tired of hearing about them. Uh, I've seen it be said yesterday. Like, I remember Ravens fans years ago. Man, media never talking about us. Media never saying anything about us. We ain't never on the news. We ain't never on ESPN. We ain't never on NFL Network. They always talk about all these other teams. They never talk about us. Well, there you go. <laughs> they don't talk about nothing but the Ravens now So, hey, you got what you wanted But anyway, um, article came out yesterday From Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk That Baker Mayfield turned down the Baltimore Ravens And I remember when I first saw it, I just laughed I laughed because I was like, wow, we, uh, okay Even though this offseason, nothing is really surprised anymore And even with Baker Mayfield The Ravens haven't been interested in Baker Mayfield That's not a surprise either because uh, if we recall, Jeff Zrebic, the who is the best in the business, he put us on that before free agency started. And we covered that in a video, but Jeff Zrebic talked about how the Ravens could potentially be interested in Baker Mayfield. He said that the Ravens, they really liked him coming out of college, and they have always really had a respect for Baker Mayfield throughout his NFL career. Obviously, they were very familiar with him. They played him two times a year when he was with the Browns, and they've had a lot of love for him. He even talked about how Steve Bashotti, who never does this, um, but Steve Bashotti, he said he walked over when the, the Panthers played the Ravens. He said he walked over to Baker Mayfield, gave him a big hug. And maybe with that big hug, he was like, hey, I'm, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you, my friend. Uh, but Baker Mayfield apparently told him, <laughs> don't even send a plane. But anyway, um, the Ravens have liked Baker Mayfield and Jeff Zrebic, he, he tried to let us know, like, hey, that interest, it could be real. They could be interested in signing Baker Mayfield this offseason. So then, a couple weeks later, Jeremy Fowler, he reported, and this was uh, early in free agency, Jeremy Fowler reported that the Ravens, uh, they looked into quarterbacks like Jacoby Brissett and Baker Mayfield. But now... This is a step further because apparently the Ravens tried to sign Baker Mayfield, but Baker Mayfield said, no, thanks. And with that being said, I know it looks really bad. It looks really rough. Like, Ravens, they really tried to sign Baker Mayfield? Like, what, what does that mean about Lamar Jackson? What, what are they trying to sign him instead of Lamar? Well, hold on. Because for them to make a contract offer, it would have had to have been uh, when the free agency started around, like March 14th or 15th. Um, the Ravens placed the franchise tag on Lamar Jackson on March 7th. So a week before free agency started. So they, uh, they had their quarterback. And, and this could mean a couple of things. Um, it could have been them trying to sign Baker Mayfield as a backup. Them really trying to upgrade their backup quarterback. Because, hey, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, right? Lamar missed time last year. He missed time the previous year. And it's like, hey, if Lamar ends up missing time, we want to have a, a pretty good backup quarterback ready. And maybe they wanted to upgrade from Tyler Huntley. No, because this was before they placed the, the tender on Tyler Huntley. So maybe they wanted to be like, you know what? This guy's a former number one overall pick. We really like this game coming out. And if he could be our backup quarterback, oh, that would put us in some nice shape. Or it could have been. It could have been. It's a possibility. I think it's more so for the backup, but we ne we'll never know. Could have also been for a starter, too. And, and it could, could have been one of those things to where the Ravens were trying to sign Baker Mayfield sort of as a, what's the word I'm looking for? Like an insurance policy, like a just in case. Just in case. Like, all right. If we keep Lamar, hey, Baker, we got you. you. You you'll be our backup quarterback. We got our backup quarterback set. Lamar Jackson is a starter. Baker Mayfield's a backup. All right, let's go. Number one overall draft pick and number 32. Perfect. All right, let's get it. Or if things don't work out with Lamar, if things go south with Lamar, then, hey, Baker Mayfield, you'll be our one, and maybe we could tend to Tyler Huntley, and he can be our two this year. 
and maybe we could draft a quarterback and, and that'll be our three. I don't know. We don't know. But we would have to assume, well, I would have to assume that it would be as a backup. I mean, maybe. What was the contract offer? What what was the type of deal that he was offered? That we don't know. They they don't have the uh they didn't say the details uh on that part. But because that would tell a lot of the story too. That could help tell a lot of the story. Um another option, Baker Mayfield could have been sort of a bridge quarterback. And I mean that would sort of be the same uh as being that insurance policy. Uh because if he was a bridge quarterback, that could mean that they he would be the bridge from from Lamar Jackson to whatever the Ravens are gonna do next at the quarterback position. But well, again, when the news came out that they tried to sign him, but Baker Mayfield turned him down, um, I had to really think about it. Because so I was like, oh, well, wait a minute. It, it's not as bad as it looks. Even though it does look bad, it's not as bad as it looks. You put yourself in Baker Mayfield's shoes. Then, and I know some of y'all don't even want to wear Baker Mayfield's shoes. But anyway, you put yourself in Baker Mayfield's shoes. Number one overall pick. Got drafted by Cleveland. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs over there Obviously more downs than ups uh, Cause Cleveland was like oh Deshaun Watson Okay Baker bye see ya um, And remember too Just a little side note Cause you see everything happening with um, Lamar Jackson right now Remember um, The Browns they drafted Baker Mayfield They had him on there for a couple years and whatnot. But As soon as Deshaun Watson Came available as soon as they were ready to move on from Baker Mayfield, you started to hear, coincidentally, you start to hear all these stories come out about Baker Mayfield's immature. Baker Mayfield's not a good leader. Baker Mayfield this, Baker Mayfield that. As soon as, as, soon as Deshaun Watson came available and it was noted that the, the Browns were interested in him, you start to hear all these bad stories start to come out about Baker Mayfield. Coincidence? Mm. And now you see what's going on with Lamar Jackson. Hey, it's money time. And this had this this really started last year too. When Lamar is eligible, they start talking contract and stuff. You start to see all these stories come out of nowhere. Because before, first couple years, oh man, you don't hear nothing bad about Lamar. Nothing. But now you start to hear all this. Mm, no coincidence. Hey, who, who knows, buddy? I, I don't know. But anyway. Um so they, they, they got rid of Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield, uh, he got traded. He got traded to the Panthers. And the Panthers, they got rid of him. He got picked up by the Rams. Rams got, well, his contract ran out. It expired. He became a free agent. If you're Baker Mayfield, you put yourself in his shoes, you look at the Ravens situation like, okay, they franchise tag Lamar. I know they like Tyler Huntley too. What's going to go on over there? What's happening over there? Because Lamar, Lamar's still there. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be there or not. He may leave. He may stay. I don't know. But Lamar's still there. Me, I'm a quarterback. I've started in this. I've been starting pretty much for my entire career, for the majority of it, not my entire career, because it took him a little bit to get, to get started in the Browns, with the Browns, and then with the Panthers, it was up and down. So, But for the majority of his career, he's been a starter. Why would I go to the Baltimore Ravens when – there's, poten there's potential that I could end up being a backup. I don't want to be no backup. I'm, I'm still trying to keep my career alive. So if I'm Baker Mayfield, I'm like, no, I, I'm not going there. I don't want to go there because it's not a sure thing. It's not a guarantee. Eh? Again, not a virtual guarantee, but it's not a full guarantee. Eh? Get it? It's not a full guarantee that I end up being the Baltimore Ravens starter because it could be Lamar. So... I, I don't blame Baker Mayfield for turning down the Baltimore Ravens. And that's why this him turning it turning the Ravens down is not nearly as bad as it looks. And even the Ravens trying to sign Baker Mayfield. Okay. I ain't got no problem with that. As long as this will back up roll, but I ain't no problem with that, man. I'm okay, cool. They tried to sign him. It obviously ain't work out. Baker Mayfield's like, uh no then okay, cool. Ravens, they trying. They trying to upgrade. They trying to upgrade a little bit everywhere. But, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. So, it, on both sides, I don't really think it's a big deal. Um, and I think it's just them just really trying to be prepared. 
them trying to be prepared uh, just in case Lamar was a starter and he went down and he missed some time. Uh, or they just trying to be prepared if they were to move off from Lamar and they wanted somebody who they may have felt was safe as a bridge. As your, as your guy moving forward, no. No. But as a bridge guy to just help you get to whoever's next, okay, whatever. Whatever. So, yeah, that's that. So... I ain't tripping off of it. It's Baker Mayfield. I mean, I, I know a lot. <laughs> so, so <you> can... <laughs> let me let me see what, what, what my guy. Let's let see what my guy Quincy said, man. My guy Quincy, Quincy Carrier, who y'all y'all already know, he is the ultimate Browns fan. Um, let me see if I can find it. He said because uh, he had quote tweeted the report that the Ravens tried to sign Baker Mayfield, but he declined. He said, you either die the Ravens or live long enough to see yourself become the Browns again. And I said, oh, yikes, Quincy, why you had to do us like that, man? But anyway, thank you, McLean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Baker Mayfield told the Baltimore Ravens when they gave him that contract offer, he said, I'm out.